Good morning, everybody. Here we are for assembly number 26 on Wednesday, the 15th of July, and we're back in the office. I had to film from here today. I really wanted you to see the pictures, the lovely contributions that you have sent in to make this a much nicer space to work in for me. As you know, I've spent many hours over the last few weeks and months up in this room. So it's nice to at least have some bright, colorful pictures on the wall. And even though you can only really fit two people in the room at the moment safely, then at least it's nice and colorful for everybody. So thank you very much. And we might also be able to see here a picture of Marley Ann and Hendrix's Woodlouse family. I think the Woodlouse have had some babies. And I wonder, wonder if you can pause the video, like I say, to have a little look um, more closely at them. But a really good job tending to your new pets. When I was a little boy, my friends and I used to play on the playground with, uh, with Woodlouse. Um, obviously we had nothing to do on the playground when we were younger, so we used to play with the woodlice and for some strange reason we always used to name them William, William the Woodlouse. That's just what we did. Okay, and finally, um, a video clip for you here for a new friend. So we've got an introduction to our new reverend. Uh, you might remember a few years ago when Reverend Rosemary retired, there's a tongue twister for us, um, we had Anne Weiss who used to come into the school every few weeks for us and we've been so grateful to see Anne over the, over the last couple of years and now we can welcome Reverend Clive Todd. We're so pleased to be able to welcome him to our school and our community. So I've got a little video for you here and you may have seen him around Sipsi already, hopefully some of you have, and here he is. Hello everyone, my name's Clive and I'm the new vicar for Sibsi. It's a real shame that I haven't had the opportunity of getting in to see you all because of our current situation. But I do look forward to meeting you all and getting to know you better once the new term begins. In the meantime, I do hope that your studies go well and that you have a really fantastic summer break and I look forward to joining you all once again, hopefully in September, when not only will I come to do collective worship with you and get to know you a little better, but also come in and see what you're all doing as one of the governors of the school. So do take care of yourselves. Have a good time over the summer. I look forward to seeing you when you come back. God bless. Bye, everyone. OK, so there we are. We've met our new reverend and I can just say he's a lovely chap because I went to his induction evening and I'm really looking forward to working with him over the coming years and for him to get to know you very well in school as well. Words of the day. So our first word today is the word beware. You may have seen the word beware on a signpost where it says something like beware of the dog. Beware is when you need to watch out for something that is either risky or dangerous. Second word of the day is the word boomerang. It's a piece of curved wood, and when it's thrown properly, it travels in an arc that comes all the way back round to the thrower. And your third word is the word alleviate. When something is alleviated, it's made less severe. So you can alleviate danger or alleviate problems by taking away some of that danger or some of those risks. Okay, there's words of the day. Okay, shall we move on to our fact for today? So, in the winter time, reindeer grow their facial hair really, really long, long enough to cover their mouths, and it protects their muzzle when they're grazing in the snow. They get these little beards, longer than mine. All right, let's move on to our pun for today. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. It's time for shout outs. In class four, a shout out to Lucas Hemingway. Lucas, it's been a long time since we see you. Looking forward to having you back in September. Hope everybody in the family is well and that you've been trying your hardest at home. So now's the time when you get your chance to sit down and read some more books over the next few weeks ready for next year. In class five, Meredith. Meredith, I'm pretty sure you've had a very busy last few months and I bet you've been devouring books. I'm sure you won't still be on that David Walliams book that you were on um, a few months ago. So I wonder what you're reading right now. And also in class five, a shout out to Grace. 
Grace, I know, Grace Cockagorian this says, I know your internet connection is not very good at home and that must be really, really frustrating for you because I know that you've been trying to do things on laptops and it must be such a pain in the neck. But I'm pretty sure that mum and dad have set you up a really excellent homeschool and I've been really pleased to see how well you've done. So keep up the last, the last few days of hard work and then it will be your summer holidays. And finally, Owen Sims. Owen, lovely to see you back in school in the last few weeks and uh, it's been great to see you. I really can't wait to see you as a year six, uh, not only as a defender on our football team when we get the matches back up, uh, but also as one of the most mature students as we move into year six. So there's your responsibility already set out for you. Okay, everybody, that's today's assembly. Have a lovely one and I'll see you tomorrow, Thursday.